Hello there people, this is Bruce Be Cool on Intembrus here, back again with another how to download Yu-Gi-Oh! Dev Pro video, so this is an update. I got a few comments recently about certain links not working and stuff, um, personally I don't think I actually gave any links, I just kind of said that this is how you do it through Google, um, but I'm going to do a, um, a, another one anyway, so obviously this is from June 2014, so it should be current for a little while I hope at least, and Obviously, if things change again, pop your comments in the section below and I'll see what there is to update and maybe make another video, but it's easy enough anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to uninstall the dev pro that I've got at the moment. All that I've kept are the textures and my deck recipes because I don't particularly want my deck recipes disappearing if it gets rid of everything as such. Um, textures wise. Uh, I've got this background which no one else seems to have, I mean I'm sure that's not true but uh, it surprised quite a few people so I've kept that just in case as well. So what we do, we shall go into the programs, uninstall this uh, Ego Dev Pro here, am I sure? Of course I'm sure. Uh, so I'm not sure how long this is going to take but um, I'll be back shortly. Oh no, hold up, is it going to do it now? Gathering information, uh, whatever, uh, I'll cut it to when it's uh, uninstalled. Okay, so that's all done, and as you can see, you know, scroll up and down, it's no longer on my system, so I'm starting afresh here. If we now close that off, we'll just go straight into Google Chrome. Obviously, you can use any web browser if uh, you fancy, it's really no biggie. They should all just come up with the same website if you just type in Dev Pro into the search engine. And as we can see here, uh, ygopro.de slash en. Um, my last video had .org to it, so I believe that might be an issue that people have, you know, said to me before of certain links don't work. But here you go, if you just type in Dev Pro, you can't go wrong, no matter what link it changes to. So, let's just crack that open. And here we go, the official Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro... Uh, there, I can't even speak. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro, Dev Pro, download, whatever. Um, I do apologise if you hear my cat kind of jingling in the background. It's trying to chase this, this fly that's as big as your fist, let me tell you. So anyway, on that note, we've got the download mirrors here. Now regardless of which one you choose, something that's come up in the past is uh, people's firewalls and antivirus uh, getting in the way. Now I promise you these aren't viruses um, and once you get to the download part, if you've got issues doing a download, like some people have had it go to 99% and then it cancels the download, um, then you know it's probably going to be a firewall or something to stop the installation of files. So let's go through these downloads one at a time. We've got Mirror 1 and just like my other video, we've got AdFly here, so ignore all of this stuff, it's just an advertisement, doesn't lead you to Yu-Gi-Oh! in the slightest. Just go up here with the skip ad part and we have invalid or deleted file. Fantastic, so obviously you're not going to choose mirror number one. Uh, come on, come all the way out of this. I should probably just open it in the new tab. Okay, so mirror one is down, so that's what some people are telling me and I see this for myself now. Uh, Dev Pro 2, something loaded there, not quite sure why. Sound system. And I do apologise if you hear that huge fly buzzing in front of the microphone. Jeez, it's a beast. Anyway, ignore Betfred or whatever else comes up. You really, really don't want to be dabbling in that. Well, not unless you're going to beat the house, but highly unlikely. Okay, so here we go. So Mirror 2 actually works here. 481 meg. Um, I'm actually going to leave this up because we want to check out the other mirrors here. So if we go to mirror number 3... Uh, mega.co.nz set up Yu-Gi-Oh Pro that looks perfect as well download to your computer 520 meg um, you'll find a certain difference in files uh, file sizes because either there's not the same amount of packs or something like that and it gets updated once you've installed it anyway um, either way going back to this one uh, nearly 500 megs that, that looks pretty solid if you're looking at that then that should be good and let's go to mirror number 4 now that goes to Mediafire again, and that one's 520 megs, which I believe is the same as this. Yep, bar a point meg, and even then it's rounded up. So those two are definitely the full-on files, at least. Um, so remember this then. Mirror 2, 3, 4 are good. Mirror 1, not so good at this moment in time. But all you need to do is download one of these. It's just multiple portals so that you've got a choice 
of being able to download that one file, okay? So, uh, this one looks pretty good. I'm just going to download from here. Um, so, notice that's downloading in the bottom there. Obviously, different search engines or, um, sorry, different internet browsers download differently. Again, ignore the bet, Fred. We do not want to be betting at all. So, uh, on this front, bear with us while 500 meg slowly uh, downloads. Okay then, guys. So, after actually trying to download them, Google Chrome has blocked the majority of these mirrors here, thinking it's a virus. And uh, as I kind of touched on last time, um, it is unfamiliar software, and that's why certain firewalls and web browsers actually block it. So, what we're actually going to do is go to Show All Downloads, um, go to Recover Malicious File. This file will harm your computer, hurt me plenty. Um, and as we can see, we've got the good old Dev Pro logo there. So, Show in Folder, that's now appeared in Downloads there. Again, different web browsers show up differently, just go into Download History or Download and uh, um, obviously make it safe. So then, if we just double click this, like I say, I've got 100% faith that this is going to work. Um, English United States, um, or whatever language you fancy. So, as we go through the wizard, next. Um, these programs are needed for the application to run. Click on the checkbox next to it to select it for install or skip it. Um, well, if we need all of them, then... I think it's because I've already got this that maybe it's there, but whatever. We'll install everything, why not? Okay, so extracting files, it's going to do a bit of work here. Uh, is that going to finish? Again, if it takes a little while, then I'll do a little cutaway. Same or higher versions of .NET Frame 4 is there, so that's why that was unchecked, because I've already got it, so that is completely fine. Okay, so I'm going to let that do its thing and uh, yeah, we'll cut back in a moment. Oh, actually, here we go. So I've read and accepted terms and conditions. Um, doesn't matter whether you send it things to Microsoft or not. Okay, so finish that. And I agree to the license terms. Notice there's nothing else about sort of advertisements from this point, which is nice for once. Certainly very nice. There we go. Actually, that was a lot quicker than I thought. So, we'll close that off. And it was put to start instantly. Here we go. Welcome to the DevPro Wizard. Uh, so, next. I accept. You know how things are with terms and conditions. Obviously, you shouldn't do that with all pieces of software because sometimes they sneakily um, have you put ads and stuff like that in there uh, as well as installing other net browsers which can ruin your search engines etc etc but DevPro as you can see here is nice even when it looks kind of scary in Google Chrome it's okay it's okay it really is I mean the other option there of the zip file is fine as well it's just I find that's a bit um, what's the word I don't want to use the word more difficult because, you know, extracting the files is, uh, files is fine anyway. But th this is just nice and easy where it's the, the the pure installation. So you download it, you press set up and that's that. So come on. Is this going to take a while? It might do. Bear with us. <laughs> okay, there we go. So click the finish button to finish or just launch Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu Dev Pro. What we'll do, we'll launch it. Usually when you uninstall and install again, it does exactly what it's doing here, so downloading updates. So let's get uh, rid of that, why not? And I think just like my last video actually, uh, a messy little desktop here, but you know what, whatever, it's organised chaos. So here we go, um, this is the main DevPro screen. Uh, for some reason, I can never get the patch notes to work, I don't know why that is. Um, but yeah, there you go, complete blank. Oh no, hold up, wow, okay, perhaps it was worth me uh, downloading this again. So, obviously it'll update from time to time as new card packs are released, etc, etc. Um, let me just sign in to show you guys that it's going to work. Beautiful, so there we have it. 
Oh, something else clicked in the background there. <laughs> Hopefully not a virus. Nah, honestly, I'm sure it's fine. So uh, for those of you that are unfamiliar with DevPro, I'll just cover the basics. For those who just wanted to download DevPro, um, this part's practically well done. You should be able to download it, open it up, and uh, again, if you're familiar, just go crazy with it. But for those that don't know, game list, so you can press search and it'll find all sorts of different games, unranked or ranked. Personally, I don't really find a difference between them because it records either way. You then got the chat, so you can look up channel lists, um, get really good decks, one person in there. Well, good luck with that. Um, one thing in terms of adding friends, what you can do if you've chilled with someone, uh, I, I don't know, if you just want to meet up with someone again and just register them in your records, uh, or your friends list rather, you both have to be on at the same time, that's one thing, and then say you can just go like that, so I know one of my buddies there, uh, if I press, oh is it going to search, um, perhaps not, oh use a list, that would be why, <laughs> so there we go, so we've got Dragon's 55 there, and search, so he's not online there, as you saw anyway, you can look at your friends list. Um, that's who I've got on there anyway. People in red are offline, people in green are online. You know, I'm not going to teach you how to suck eggs there. And uh, if you double click them, then you can open up message box. Brilliant stuff. Um, ranking, personally, I haven't really used this one, so whatever. Um, download, so you can, you know, uh, get the show again, extra packs and things, uh, updates. Uh, yeah, perfect file manager so this would usually be your decks which I will reinstall shortly and then you can either delete them open them up etc etc um, speaking of which uh, these are your deck covers which you can have I believe you can unlock more or even um, download more if you wanted to I haven't seen that one before that's a pretty cool one whoever made that um, support that's pretty uh, obvious it, well actually no it's not it's not to get you know support from DevPro it's for you supporting DevPro so do these things and you get special bits and pieces frequently asked questions and then just press deck edit to load up the deck recipes or to create new decks fantastic so I hope that was a uh, decent tutorial for not only using DevPro, you know, the basics anyway, but to download it. You know, don't be scared of it. It's not a virus. I absolutely promise you. I've just proved it here. Um, Shortcuts made itself welcome on the screen. I'm happy enough with that there anyway. That was the space where it was in the first place. Um, yeah, fantastic. So if you do need any other uh, help, then please put comments in the section below. I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Um, and yeah, any other comments, I'll try and get back to you anyway. So, give it a download. For those of you that have been trying to download it for ages, I hope this helped you out and now you can finally duel. And yeah, until next time guys, you take care, and I will see you again soon.